Hey everyone, as part of the Courageous Life podcast, we have decided to put together a monthly video, which we're calling A Month in the Life. So we hope you enjoy January, which just shows some of the highlights of our month. Oh yeah, I got it. Lindy has taken on the chore of feeding and caring for our goats, Fire and Tara. Say hi. Ella has picked up a part-time job uh, she she goes there every day, well, six days a week, and she's taking care of 11 Icelandic horses. Two are seniors and, and then nine younger horses. Oh, and we have wild turkeys almost on every visit. Um, the, the seniors have all of five teeth between the two of them. So they get special food. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Even though everybody works really hard, they also take time for things like sledding or and making igloos, even though the igloos started to melt on them. Our goats are our first livestock animals on the homestead, well, besides rabbits. But we have Fire and we have Tara, a Nubian, and a Nigerian pygmy. Our Nubian will be our dairy goat. Lindy is our producer, editor, and publisher of the podcast and works tirelessly on all of these episodes. We did manage to get to about the mid-50s here in January, which was uh, right where we wanted to be. This is actually footage from November during hunting season. And it's a funny story and you have to go back and listen to the podcast, but I shot it off of our back deck. Here you can see us uh, building a rabbit hutch. Um, we uh, acquired a couple, three rabbits this month and Austin and I built the rabbit hutch. Monica made homemade puff rice and ended up turning that into delicious snack bars. We had uh, quite a bit of snow in January. Uh, it was actually a light year from, from our understanding, but nonetheless, we got a couple pretty heavy snows and required a, a plowing on a few occasions. And so that was new uh, to us, uh, but just beautiful. <laughs> Here you can see us uh, trimming the, the rabbits' nails. We do that about once a month. And uh, prepping uh, Hagar's uh, nesting box. We bred her to Abraham uh, early January, and she ended up having four healthy kits. Five in the litter, but four kits that day. 